Hey, welcome, it's Meredith. I am here with our message for the energy atmosphere of Mercury retrograde for Wednesday, May 11th. <laughs> yeah, we're tuning into how best to navigate these energies and make the most of them for our highest and greatest outcome. Our overall theme card for the day is the world. Beautiful card. It speaks to the reward of our prior effort and investment in our own spiritual journey, our spiritual garden, if you will. <laughs> What's blossoming in the now here? So fantastic card. And our first out of the tarot cards, vice versa tarot, we have the nine of coins. You couldn't pick a better card to go along with the overall theme here because this card brings the message of abundance, bounty, fulfillment, reward, and having more than enough to spare and share. So I feel a good sense here of rest, relaxation. Uh, I feel peace and ease and grace off of this nine of coins, the flip side of it. Same character now gazing at the full moon. Do keep in mind, we have a full moon coming up on Sunday in the sign of Scorpio and a lunar eclipse. Gosh, what a fantastic message, actually, because between the world and the nine of coins, we have plenty to consider about how we want to invest in the oncoming. So know that the lunar eclipse energy will be with us uh, anywhere from six to 24 months, okay? And in the sign of Scorpio, the energy is going to be deep. Add to that the vibe of Mercury retrograde in there too. So this has the potential for long-standing fulfillment. That's what I feel here. So let's use the energy of the retrograde, of the full moon, of the eclipse to be mindful and discerning of how we are investing in our spiritual journey at this time on our foundation and be in divine alignment with what we would consider our heart space destiny. Our next card here is justice. And we're looking at the flip side of justice. We have the ace of swords and or the sword of truth here stuck into the foundation. And I feel that it represents our devotion to maintaining our foundation. We have vines growing on this sword here. So that's where I'm picking up some of this long-term energy, uh, not just from the retrograde or the eclipse. The, the artistry on the card suggests that we are reaping the reward of our long-term devotion to the dream, the vision we have, for our now and what's on the horizon. Flip side of justice is truly the traditional justice card, harmony, balance, truth. I do feel that this is somewhat of a channeled message card for us too. I'm gonna to go back to the flip side because I have the sense that we have information incoming likely on the eclipse or very near to the eclipse and that information coming through our intuitive gifts will be informing us about how we how we decide to proceed into our oncoming into our blossoming so should you be receiving some intuitive message messages right now that don't necessarily make sense to you you know hold on to the message jot it down in your journal because it may become clear on the other side of the retrograde once we're through it our next card is the Six of Swords. We are seeing the flip side of that card too. The character in the boat is carrying with her the Ace of Cups. So there's our love, bliss, joy, happiness on overflow, carrying that into our oncoming horizon. Of course, the other side of the card, you know, brings the traditional messages of moving from less than favorable experiences into more favorable experiences so i love that we're seeing the flip side with the ace of cups because we are in consideration for our rewards and that's certainly what's coming out of the cup and that is certainly what gives us this more than enough to spare and share energy here off the nine of coins our next card is 
the nine of wands and we're seeing the flip side of that one and what we're witnessing here is kind of the homecoming of a warrior who's long been away and ready for rest rejuvenation relaxation we have you know the enduring message of this card uh and that we have been in a long journey or on a long journey again it speaks to the reward of our effort we have all of these wands to draw upon that's the ace of wands to the power of nine so again lots of abundance on offer to us and i feel the cards are pointing out how best are you going to use the resources you have at hand now to celebrate now and what's blossoming our next card is the king of coins beautiful he is a master at this we talk about this every time we see his card let's take a look at the flip side for him look at what he's staring at this is beautiful really uh because it shows where we're headed on that six of swords it confirms the nine of coins it confirms the world even so this king as we speak on him regularly in our daily tarot messages is that he celebrates the now and has always got his eye his attention on investing the joy of now in the blossoming so when you flip this card over and you take a look at what he's looking at you can see bounty you can see happiness you see vitality you see lush energy here so use these energies to your own highest and greatest benefit today keep your eye on your happy horizon and do what you're called to do in the now to contribute to the continued growth and unfoldment of what we're witnessing here uh, off the six of swords with the ace of cups in hand the nine of coins and of course this king of pentacles and the world thanks everybody for tuning in have a beautiful day leave some comments if you're guided to let us know how you're doing in your journey peace love joy happiness namaste